Hello guys, um, welcome back to some Walking Dead. This is the start of episode two of season two. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna get straight back into it. I'm not gonna talk anymore. Um, you'll hear from me at the end of this episode. So however many, however many videos there are, you'll hear from me at the end of that. Uh, so until then guys, I hope you enjoy this episode and stay classy gamers. Previously on The Walking Dead. I'm freezing. Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. I'm gonna go look for more wood. Where's the rest of your group? I I'm by myself. Bullshit. Krista, run! I'm out! Grab her, let's go! Uh, Would someone mind telling me what the fuck is going on here? She's bit by a dog. For all we know, she could be working with Carver. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? You were in the woods with Krista. Please. Ah! I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Come this way! Damn it, you get your asses over here, both of you! No! We have to go! You could have saved him! How could you just leave him? my uncle back at the stream why'd you follow me Pete got bit what he got bit he wasn't going to make it
What do we do now? I don't care. If we're stuck here, we should at least look around. Maybe we can find something to help us get out of here. Knock yourself out. Still. I know what it is. The fuck you do. Okay, what then? It's for making booze. But that rig ain't fit to piss in. Do you think they'll break through that window? Guess I'll just stand here, talking to myself. What is that stuff? Let me see. <sighs> Whiskey. Now what? Oh, fuck if I know. We wait, I guess. Kill my mom. <laughs> Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on it. His big plan. Some fucking plan. Case of beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. Everyone I grew up with, it all happened to them. Now, it's gonna happen to us. We're all so fucked. This whole world is fucked. Jesus. I mean, what's the point? We'll just march to some new place and somebody else will die. It's never gonna stop. Eventually, it'll be our turn. I can't believe we've been here a day. A day. It's been a day, right? Hey, kid. Have a drink with me. It's gonna be your first and your last. <laughs> no thanks. Listen. They're not coming for us. You should go. Run for it. What, what are you gonna do? Stay here. I'm tired. Go find Luke and the rest. They'll take care of you. We can make it. We have to try. I don't have to do anything. Come with me. Are you kidding? And leave all this? You can't just sit here and die. Why not? 
What does it matter? You still have Luke and everyone else. They're family. Nick, I need your help. Please. You're right. Yeah. Now look, if we get separated, cabin's only half a mile from here. You can't miss it. You ready? <laughs> Fuck it. Clementine, are you all right? Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? It's been hours. Where are they? Clem! We got attacked. By who? Walkers. Jesus! Pete got killed. I was with Nick, but... My God. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there! Get the guns! Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you, can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her. And don't tell her anything. She gets nervous. I'll take care of her. You can trust me. Thank you. You'll be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. And thank you. Say cheese! I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. It's so cool. Take one of me. Come on, take one of me. Sure. Get me in a good pose, okay? Okay, I'm ready. What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? You should know what's going on. He told you not to tell me, didn't he? He is in trouble. Oh my gosh. What happened? Clem? It'll be fine. They're smart people. Sorry, I, 
I, I just need to... You want to see what I found? Will you show me how to use it? I couldn't find any bullets. If something's wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? It's too dangerous. <sighs> Everything is dangerous. I need to know sometime. You should let your dad teach you. What should I shoot? Don't do that! S -s -s Sorry! Sorry! Maybe I could practice outside. There's that tree. Hey, Luke's back! That's not Luke. Clem, I think I know him. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. Who is he? Uh, I, I don't remember. Oh. Clem, I can't breathe. I, I can't breathe. Are you? Well, actually, I'm your neighbor. Neighbor? That's right. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> My name is George, honey. Pleasure to meet you. You mind if I come in for a bit? Would you please leave? This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. I'm alone. Really? Yeah. I take care of myself. Well, I'm impressed. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people, seven of them to be exact. They've been gone a long while and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. I haven't seen him. Well, that's a shame. You sure? Pretty sure. A lot of plates for one person. Looks like a tornado ran through here. I don't ever do the dishes. Hey, well, believe me, I don't either. Just passing through, or you been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. I'm not sure why you'd go anywhere after finding this place. Just passing through, going north. Whole lot of people headed that way lately. Me, I don't get it. There's just as much nothing up there as there is down here. And I can't stand that Yankee weather. Have you been north? Well, not since... before. But I've heard things. Where does this go? Oh, I'll take it. What 
it's a real nice place. Kind of cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug, son of a bitch. I don't care. You know, you're really not very polite for a little girl. And you're not very polite for an adult. This is my house. Fair point. Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? I thought you said nobody's here. I didn't hear anything. I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Who's this? My sister, she's dead. Really? Well, I'm very sorry to hear that. Thanks. You have no idea who these people are, do you? I don't know what you're talking about. Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? Well, they locked me up in a shed. If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Why shouldn't I trust them? You have a real good day now. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. You were with Nick, right? We gotta go find him. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. I didn't open the door. He just came in. I thought you opened the door. Jesus. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. He said his name was George. George? That's what he said. Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? How old was he? He had a big brown coat. Did it have a lining? A collar? Yeah, fur. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. Uh, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy. Or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. You told me to distract her. Distract? 
Sarah. So I'm just an idiot? I thought we were friends. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving now. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. What does he want? To bring us back. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. Look, we gotta find Nick on our way out of here. You know where he was, right? Yeah. Alright. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. <laughs>